Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading for the end of June, beginning of July, but whenever you're here, there's something very likely for you. This is Barefoot Mama Intuitive Reading. Um, if you want to enter to win a free reading on 7-7, you can put free reading in the comments of this video or any post or video until the 7th. Um, let's see, you can join my Patreon. I haven't been posting there much lately, but I'm hoping to um, create a more regular schedule there you can book a personal with me on my etsy if that interests you or donate on my cash app if you'd like so thanks for being here let's get started oh yeah there's the youtube membership too it's nothing special really <laughs> just another way to support the channel i'm um, all well, it's nothing special and then we have the wheel of fortune here so cool that's some really good overall energy for your reading Taurus, your sound bowl is like not resonating very much. Maybe it's having, you're having a hard time being heard. Spirit, please protect this reading. Send any negative energies back to sender transmuted tenfold for the greatest good of all and harm to none. Archangel Michael, please protect this reading. Bring clear, concise messages through for my Taurus collective. And Mother Mary, please bring compassion to these messages. Holly, please cut any negative energetic cords to energies or entities that are no longer serving us on our highest timeline. Send us to our highest timelines and burn the karma sticks associated with those connections. Amen, amen, so let it be. The page of swords in your past energy is going to be watching you, learning something new. I think the page of swords is also like like if you're into, if you're doing research or something, this could be you like looking into, um, I don't know, researching something for a story, for journalism, researching another person. Maybe you're dating somebody who like doesn't have social media <laughs> you're like, oh God, um, is this good? Or, oh my gosh, the Hierophant reverse. Okay. That was chaos. If you're dating somebody who doesn't have social media, <laughs> the Hierophant reverse came out. They could be a non-committal person. I don't know. This is a whatever comes out reading. I'm putting the Hierophant reverse back. Let's get the future energy and then we'll clarify. The Five of Wands. Um, I'd like to pull an overall Oracle card or Oracle message. Just to sort of ground the reading. It feels really... You have air and fire and then you have destiny and karma. It's very like ethereal. What is going on? Eight of Swords, Queen of Swords. Um, you're trying to separate from somebody or something. You have the Six of Swords too, like a lot of air energy. The Six of Swords, you're trying to move to peace and calm. And then the Queen of Swords is this beautiful snowy owl. And the Eight of Swords. These owls, okay, in the Eight of Swords, these owls are looking down into a rat's nest. And the perspective is that you're in, you're the rat in the hole and you have nowhere to go. These owls are like all looking at you. So this owl could represent somebody else, an air sign that you're dealing with, um, who is like not letting you move on or not wanting to let you move on. <sighs> or someone that you're having a hard time cutting ties with. All right, let's clarify. In the Six of Swords, what I like about sea turtles is just that they take their time. That's what's standing out to me here. This process may take time. And I mean, the life of a sea turtle, especially initially, is not an easy one, right? There's lots of obstacles to get very simply from their nest on the beach to the water. Um, and through all the waves, right? So there's something here about you like spiritually coming back home, maybe even mentally, like maybe you've been really trying to, maybe your mind has been really sharp or like sort of all consumed by this research or by what it is you've been investigating or looking into or by messages coming even from spirit. There's all these birds in the background. It's just a lot of messages coming through. 
maybe you're just like fielding a bunch, a bunch of messages. You could be like in communications or something. I'm curious what this Wheel of Fortune card is though and why there are so many like swords associated with it. Eight of Swords. I think you have the power to cut ties to something so that you can have some sort of peace of mind. Let's figure this out. What is this thing you're cutting ties to? The Emperor. An Aries? Or, um... I don't know. I don't usually see the Emperor just as himself in, in a bad light. The King of Wands... I don't really like that combination. And the Three of Wands. The Four reversed. Okay. This King of Wands is somebody who keeps waiting for you to come back. <laughs> um, and I just get this feeling like you're like, can you just get the picture already, please? Like, we are not, I'm on a whole different timeline. This is, this Wheel of Fortune is you being on a whole different timeline. And trying to tell this person, like, I'm not, like, we're not doing that. I don't know why this is coming through so strongly. Um, I feel like you don't feel, you're kind of like, is I don't know how else to say it any more clearly. Like, I feel like you've said what needs to be said at this point. Um, my best friend's, um, my best friend growing up was a Taurus, and she she would tell she would be the person to tell another person to their face like what they needed to hear and that's why she was my best friend because when i when i needed to be called out she would call me out <laughs> thank god i don't have to deal with any bullshit from you um this person's just not getting it six of cups they have a lot of memories with you or you have a lot of memories with them they're really stuck in their emotions um they are projecting the need to heal some inner child wound onto you um, thinking that the reason they want to stay connected to you is that you're the one or, you know, you make them feel better, but really it's like some abandoned part of themselves that they haven't healed. And it's not your responsibility to do that for them. It's very likely why you're trying to get away from them in the first place is that this is their work and they're not seeing it that way. Okay. Why are they coming up in your reading? Oh, because you don't have other options until you can, you feel like you don't have other options until this person is out of your life. You, yeah, you feel like you're stuck until this person just realizes, like, like, you could be trying to have a lot of compassion for where they're at as well, trying to, um, like, sort of wait until they get to the point where they process, like, you're not gonna be hanging on anymore you could have known each other for a really long time or been together for a really long time why are you investigating though six of swords okay so this is also this is the six of swords clarifying the six of swords you want to make sure they're at peace so that you can be at peace because you have some heavy guilt around this but it's not like you did anything wrong, right? No, you didn't. You're seeing the situation clearly. You're um, seeing the truth of the situation. Archangel Michael is protecting this situation as well. And you can call on him to help you cut the, the energetic cords to this situation. You feel like you're being selfish with the Four of Pentacles reversed, but you're not. Um, you're teaching each other a lesson here with the Six of Swords being on both sides of this. You both want peace of mind. This person's peace of mind is going to be achieved through them being able to like assuage their own need to heal that inner child wound. It's been coming up a lot in the collective, but I feel like you're you're um you're not dealing with the same thing. You're dealing with the overgiving. Um you're used to giving up your security for the sake of others. Taurus is, um, I, I read or heard something about the Taurus being the, the workhorse of the Zodiac. But one of the things I also associate Taurus with 
is like the hero of the zodiac in a way like you're the one who will jump in front of a a bullet for your best friend you know like you're just undyingly loyal so i feel like you're sticking around waiting for this person to to get on the same page with you so that it can be an amicable separation king of swords you could also be waiting on some legal matters um to be like ends to be tied loose ends to be tied leak in, in legal um like paperwork or if you're going to court with this person just making sure you're yeah getting all of those contracts signed crossing the t's and dotting the i's so to speak lots of swords this is this is a lot of mental energy i'm wondering where's the heart the star okay you're already like wishing and hoping for your new beginning for after this you're already thinking about your future your destiny this is this is the heart this is your destiny this was supposed to happen this is your karma um saturn's in retrograde in pisces until november and saturn's the lord of karma so wherever pisces is at in your chart that can help to inform this situation um which may be unfolding until the 17th something um on the 17th of july might be really um eye-opening for you the 10th might bring a really nice surprise in your fortunes what's this five of wands temperance okay i was gonna say i really enjoy that the five of wands is here because it's like taking all of the swords right all of the swords are becoming wands like when we go to battle with swords we're looking to lock people's heads off but when we're going to practice with wands we're just looking for some healthy sport so this is um i think this is you being able to interact with this person if they are continuing into your in in your life like say they're a person with whom you need to co-parent after separating you're able to move the conversation to a more amicable place so at least you can co-parent um maybe with the occasional like playful sporting jab at the other's character um temperance is here archangel michael showing up twice in a big way helping you to cut those energetic cords and then the star and temperance both have the chalices pouring from land and into water. There's there's this element of walking in both worlds. So while you have to cut the cord with this person, I have this feeling that it also needs to remain amicable. Maybe you all work together or um, you could be family. Like you could have gotten into a weird religious conversation with a family member over um, a family vacation or something and and so you need to you're still you're still bound together somehow but it's not it's not through you giving them your mental energies or your security or even any hopes that they're going to partake in your wish fulfillment it's it's this cord cutting is about taking back your mental energies, anything that's making you feel stuck. You have the Eight of Swords and the Chariot Reverse. This could be a situation that so consumed your mental energies that you felt like subconsciously maybe like you didn't even want a new beginning until it was over because you didn't want to bring those energies into, into your wish fulfillment. What is your wish fulfillment here? The Ace of Wands? It could be new creative endeavors, starting a new business. It could be um, a new love, the Ace of Wands, or a new lover, rather. I don't know that the Ace of Wands necessarily means love, but in terms of like connecting with others, it can mean a lover. Um, I think the Ace of Wands can also be 
clarifying that spirituality message or that religious argument message. Maybe there's a parent with the emperor here, a father figure who you don't see eye to eye with. Um, yeah. But with this page of swords here, it's um, you might have a lot of air in your chart. Um, I feel like this conversation or this encounter taught you a lot about how a youthful part of you was seeing things and it and it made you quickly go from the page to the queen of swords to the king of swords like oh 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 um got you and then this is actually sparking this ace of wands this new wish it's like a new idea um something some big new energy to create your wish fulfillment why is temperance here nine of swords yeah you're you're overcoming anxieties and burdens the ten of wands dang the sun reversed. The four of cups reversed. The fifth pentacles reversed. Power. Whoa. If this is somebody you work with, it's like you found out that that your coworkers were like putting all their extra work on you and then going out to party and talking shit about you. I don't know why that specifically is coming out, but for the greatest good of all involved. This is for the greatest good of all involved? Why? Judgment reverse? Oh, because karma. Oh, okay. This has been an ongoing situation because the Lord of Karma is here to rain hell over people who have been shitty. And for you, this looks like, oh, okay, things have been good. I've been doing what I was supposed to be doing. Now I'm dealing with, like, it's almost like now you have anxiety about not having anxiety you're like oh wait aren't i supposed to be like worried about something aren't i supposed to be like burdened aren't i the workhorse of the zodiac wait you mean other people have to do their work too you mean other people have been giving me their work huh yeah i feel like i feel like you're seeing karma play out and you didn't even realize before that there was anything to for it to play out over because you were worried about helping people like say at work like ease their minds like you're like oh yeah i'll take that weekend shift or i'll um cover for your daughter's birthday or what what have you and you just were like you know one day <laughs> but you felt stuck in your mind you could also be an in intern i don't know this is really specific for some reason but you could also be an intern who because you like did everybody else's work for them or because you were like taking on other people's work and this can be their shadow work too right it doesn't have to be like your career work it can be we were talking about how this person doesn't want to do their shadow work you've done so much shadow work or so much work that you are now in this king of swords energy like an authority and not even just the king of swords but like like almost an ascended version of that in in um temperance here if only because of the association with archangel michael i'm aware it's not an air sign card but you may feel very um It's like something comes to light with the tower here about this whole situation. And you might feel like I'm hearing thunderstruck. I don't know. Maybe the person you're associating this reading with or who's coming in in this reading listens to that song. Thunderstruck. ACDC. Um, I don't know why I just like sighed. Like <sighs> ACDC. Queen of Wands. Is this your energy or somebody else? Ace of Swords. This is the person you're cutting ties with. King and Queen of Wands. I almost feel like this is the mother 
who's married to this king of wands father figure emperor figure telling you some sort of truth like oh yeah he um is is a little bit mentally ill that's why that religious conversation happened or the person that you've been doing this shadow work for or this work at your actual job for like they are burdened by like mental Ill illness that's what that nine of swords is or insomnia or something like they just aren't they aren't together they aren't fully together this could also be you eight of swords queen of swords six of swords. no i feel like this is this is you understanding that you've been taking on this person's karma this person's karmic baggage and it's you understanding like when you let this go it's for the greatest good of all involved um the four of cups reversed and the three of pentacles reversed i'm not really understanding except that it's like other people are talking it's like oh okay as you leave this situation other people are going to start telling you about like oh yeah that person is a little a little out there they're a little mentally like eh. i um broke up with a guy once after like five years um when i was younger and i always had this suspicion that he was cheating on me and like i should have just trusted my instincts but i could never like figure it out with the page of swords i could never there was he was really good at hiding it and after i left the friends that who we were associated with um told me all kinds of things they told me all kinds of things and i was like why didn't you tell me that <laughs> like like two or three years ago like why why didn't you tell me you know um so this could be something like that where when you stop associating yourself with this person other people feel safe to tell you like things about them that they wouldn't have told you while you were like connected with them because they didn't want to get back to them right so it's pretty amazing how some people are very conflict avoidant i feel like you are not but i feel like the conflict that you were engaged in was one was that was happening behind the scenes both subconsciously for the person you were dealing with for the people you were dealing with because of their own mental anxieties and unhealed wounds as well as like as well as like there are things being hidden from you that you are seeing very clearly and the more you see clearly the more is revealed and the more is revealed, the more you're actually inspired to um, start creating new wishes, new dreams, new hopes for yourself. So I think this is a really nice reading um, all around. It seems a bit messy for you, Taurus, I'm not going to lie, if only because you're creatures of comfort and this is a bit of an uncomfortable situation. You can certainly handle it, although I get the feeling that you would rather not um it's but it's something you can manage entirely and you have archangel michael here showing up three times in all of his three cards ace of swords king of swords temperance so um call on him to help you cut the cord to this situation two of wands yeah move through that doorway queen of pentacles reverse um there's no need to give your beautiful nurturing energy to this anymore um, especially if somebody's been stealing from you i feel like one last message it's like somebody asked you to do a bunch of work for them and then they got a raise for it and you were like whoa 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 whoa! you had me do this project so you could get that raise like the promotion or whatever it's like somebody tried to skip in line <laughs> um and you were like no thank you no, thank you. It, it's almost, I get this sense that the way that you're piecing out of here, it's almost like you have to talk to a five-year-old, somebody who's grown, but they're not six of cups. They're not emotionally matured to the point of adulthood yet. You're dealing with somebody who just, it, it's like that, that saying, everything I needed to learn about life, I learned in kindergarten. This person never got those lessons. Um, 
and you're having to talk to them like they're five years old like you're you're having to talk down to this person um and i don't think that you initially wanted to the way i'm repeating myself even you might be repeating yourself a lot there's a lot of swords here repeating themselves repeat 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 you could be training somebody at work who's just not getting it um Oh my gosh, all the words came out here, like, upside down. That's not the one. Leadership. Okay, interesting. That's an interesting card to come out here. Divine leadership follows the principles of the higher laws. It is a commitment to unflinching truths with no manipulative agenda. Power must be free from ego because EGO translated as edging God out. These times are crying for exemplary leaders. Leaders must live it, then lead it. One must be honorable, humble, and have a sense of humor about their shortcomings. The art of leadership is the art of listening and learning. A good leader knows to establish a secure line of communication to a higher power, willing, wanting, and waiting for divine direction. To lead well is to heed well. Good leadership establishes a touchstone of noble virtue that cannot be denied, denied or doubted. Leadership is not exemplified by what we say, but in how we act and in who we are. Yeah, so there's a lot of words here, a lot of, like, spoken or written energy and it's like you're having to leave this situation or this person in order to demonstrate for them like through your own actions what they can do or how they can do this like no amount of words no amount of saying to them what it is that needs to be said is going to help i feel like words may even give this person really bad anxiety like like if you're if you're trying to train a person at work and you're talking them through it, they're distracted by the words, but they're watching what you do. So like just doing it and letting them watch is going to help. But in terms of this being shadow work that this person has to do, if this is a father figure or somebody in authority at work, like you're just going to have to literally lead by example, just do you. And their shortcomings are being noticed for the greatest good of all. And even being gossiped about and talked about and again other people are going to start telling you like well i don't know about this king of wands um emperor figure this could be the queen of wands like offering you low-key the same job queen of pentacles reverse two of wands reverse like do you want this do you want this <laughs> i've been waiting <laughs> seven of pentacles nine of pentacles yes if you've been waiting for a raise this month is the month somebody's gonna mess up and another person's gonna ask you to take their place and i don't see that you've been wanting this person to mess up like i feel like you kind of didn't want to take this responsibility or this leadership or you didn't even see yourself in that role and then boom 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 like it's available to you because of this new idea because of your new wish fulfillment you could even be connecting with somebody this month that makes you wish for more in your life interesting all right taurus that's what i had for you i hope it was helpful um if it is or does resonate in the future let me know come back to this read comment like share subscribe if you haven't thank you all for being here i'll see you next week